What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now yesterday we got our third and final stream on the April 12th update. In a video yesterday I spoke about all changes coming to weapon types and certain exotics. And if you missed that, you'll find it either on my channel or linked in that video description if you guys do want to check it out. Today we will talk about all changes made to PvP mentioned via the stream yesterday. So let's get straight into it. And let's start with revives or reviving. First off, they have extended the time it takes to revive a teammate. So when you guys are playing Trials etc, there is a big difference. Even when wearing exotics such as the Light Beyond Nemesis or Crest of Alpha Loopy, there is still a noticeable difference especially when trying to sprint revive. This is mainly due to the fact you have to get closer to your teammates ghost to revive them. Changes to reviving or being revived don't end there. The overshield you receive is also less powerful. Also specifically in trials they have added an additional 2 seconds to the 5 second timer you have before you can revive your teammates. So if you are playing trials of Osiris your body dies. Instead of waiting 5 seconds before you can revive them you have to wait 7 seconds. If your teammate dies again in the same round an extra seven seconds will be added to his revive time so 14 seconds will be that you have to wait before you can revive them moving on and let's check out changes made to ammo and let's start with special ammo they have changed it to now you spawn in with special ammo at the start of the game then additionally a special ammo crate will spawn in way later than usual at the three minute mark and then a further two minutes after that this will significantly, in my opinion, reduce the amount of special ammo you'll be able to play with in a single game. The change has been made across the board in all game types, with the exception of Mayhem. Mayhem has been left untouched because Mayhem is, well, Mayhem. Changes again have been made across the board with heavy ammo and when it spawns in. Heavy ammo now will only show up once per game and that being at the 5 minute mark. Obviously this change doesn't affect trials and elimination but every other game mode across the board heavy ammo will only spawn in once at that 5 minute mark. Obviously again with the exception of mayhem which is being unchanged. Moving on and let's talk about changes made to that motherfucking RNG that loot. Now across the board in all PvP modes, legendaries will be dropping at an increased rate, so you'll be definitely seeing more than usual. Other changes coming, the Lord Shack's weekly bounties, if completed you'll be able to land yourself with loot of a light scope to a 335. Trials of Osiris will also receive changes. The bounties via Lance and the Trials of Osiris will drop loot once completed up to a 330 light score. The 9 and all Mercury Lighthouse Chest will now drop armor and weapons up to a 335 light score. They have also given us the option to complete the His Eyes Are Upon You bounty on a daily basis if that's what you want to do. Now, Iron Banner has also received changes too. All legendary engrams have been removed from the Iron Banner loot table and in replacement of them you'll be receiving Iron Banner gear instead. The rank 3 and 5 Iron Banner packages will contain an artifact and gold shell. These will drop at a 320 light score. And the Iron Banner rank 5 package has also been changed so the gear you get from it will drop up to a 335 light score. But guys that is the end of what they mentioned on stream with the changes coming to PvP. Like I said if you missed my video yesterday where I talked about all changes coming to weapons across the board. It will be linked in that video description if you do want to check it out. Guys hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate your support. Tell me your thoughts on all changes down below in that comment section if you have any. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ.